This is Yurina Chernohuz. She is a senior corporal, a combat medic, and a drone pilot in the Ukrainian military. And this car, this civilian model SUV with a shattered windshield, the one you see right there, literally a Mitsubishi wagon, this is what she uses as an ambulance on the front lines of the war. And this is the drone that she uses to look for Russian troop positions. It is a civilian model as well. You can literally get one of these at Best Buy. Yurina has been a member of the Ukrainian military since before this latest war began. At the beginning of the war, she defended the front line in villages north of the port city of Mariupol. More recently, she and her unit have been on the front lines in the Donetsk region. And now she is in the U.S. on a military mission to help Americans understand just how much Ukraine needs their support. Joining us now is Yurina Chernohus, Senior Corporal Combat Medic and Drone Pilot in the Ukrainian military. Yurina, thank you so much for being with us. It's good to be here. So first tell me, I know you're here for a very specific pur purpose. What are you and the Ukrainian military hoping to get from the U.S.? Um, well, first of all, I want to thank American for all the uh, help that we got. Uh, I can say that um, uh, the American Heimers and uh, officers they have changed the character of this war. As uh, I was um, on the north of the Mariupol uh, in the beginning of March, you know, we got like uh, granite launchers, javelins on our hands. And they attacked us with great, uh, with long tank columns, mm -hmm. like uh, 40, 50, 100 vehicles. And it was uh, really hard to stop. Right now, with these weapons, they don't dare attack us mm. with such big forces. And our artillery um, works immediately on these like, small groups of tanks. They are like Russians, they are watching for weak place. Uh -huh. They stop them really effectively and uh, we shouldn't pay, you know, uh, so high casualty rate. Um, Thanks to some of these, yes. the weaponry, whether it's javelins, whether it's hummers. Yeah, and, yeah of course, I will, we need also like uh, armored vehicles because armored it's eight, vehicles. you know, eight, eight uh, months of the war and um, we ran out like of armor. So we need like heavy, heavy armor because uh, have tanks, but they are post-Soviet, and in order to back our t territories, uh, to liberate our territories, we need tanks. Because, you know, the southeast of Ukraine was basically occupied um, with tanks, and the best response to a Russian tank is a tank. And a tank is and a like tank, yeah. Abrams uh, or Leopards, that, that's what we need. And we also need aircrafts to close our air, air space, because uh, you know, Russians, they hit our cities, our civilian infrastructure with rockets, and we don't have anything to respond them. And our civilian people are dying every day. We, and that is worth mentioning again and again. We saw that picture of your car. It's a Mitsubishi. It's a passenger vehicle. You are driving that literally out to the front lines of battle to save lives. Can you tell me about what you as a medic are seeing and what you need out on the front line of battle? Alex, thank you for this question. It's a good question. Um, as a combat medic, perhaps I had my hardest experience on the beginning of the march uh, in the village, which were three times attacked with such a big uh, ten column of Russians. And um, mm, uh, we had hard battles, had lots of wounded soldiers, like every day. And, you know, for me, it's not um, a difficult to help like soldiers like me because it was for, I was learned, like I had this. It's war. It be cursed, yes, it was. But uh, one day I had like situation, it was uh, very cold. I, I remember this thin layer of snow, you know, everywhere and the, like great coldness in this, uh, village and uh, I was called by my commander and he, he told me that uh, he was reported that there are uh, wounded civilians in the village and uh, he showed me direction and I took group and we went with our group uh, to the that house. First of all I saw wounded civilian man with a wound in his uh, you know um, shoulder. I started tamponade and then I heard screaming um, from the basement. Uh, 
and I had the, finished my tamponade, I went to the basement and uh, I saw like a boy aged 10 uh, who screamed because of pain and um, started watching, you know, uh, he, he told that he has a pain in his chest and I saw that small shrapnel, just, it was just after bombing with, uh, you know, this forbidden cluster munitions of this village where Ukrainian civilians lived. and. Um, uh, you know, um, that what I, 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 I yes, child, I put a, a child, yes, I put like chest seal and uh, we evacuate him as well as his uh, perhaps mother with 10 months baby on her hands. I wow. just have this picture before my eyes when they sit together and this, you know, our Rico, she's crying and the boy is just in blanket with this chest seal, this great pain. And that was my perhaps hardest experience because, uh, you know, as I said, to help militaries, it was we chose, yes, it's but kids and uh, it was rescuing the kids even hard experience for me as for medic. A mother with a 10 month old child yes, and her 10 year old child with shrapnel wounds to his chest. The horrors of war are just so staggering in this particular conflict where civilians are both fighting and victim in all of this. Yurina Cherno, who is senior corporal combat medic and drone pilot in the Ukrainian military, thank you for everything you're doing to fight for the cause of democracy. We hope we can support your efforts as you're here in New York. Thanks for your time. Thank you to all Americans.